Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Quartz Party! So... I for... So... What we have to do now is we have a tongue and now we have to go back to, I believe... The infirmary? Which is not this way. Um... I believe, um, which I don't remember which way the infirmary is. <laughs> oh wait, no, maybe it is that way. Um, whoa. Oh, oops, wrong door. Okay. So, let's go to the infirmary, just to make sure we didn't miss anything, because I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we just came from there, before, like in the last episode at the end, but... Um... Don't know actually. Um, it's a tongue. So I think we need to go to the infirmary. This is not the infirmary. <laughs> um, I get so lost in this place so easily. It's not even funny. Okay, let's go back. Um, Oh, an unseen force is pushing you back, preventing you from progressing any further. Okay, so we can't go that way. Um, I don't know which, uh, because we have... What's it called? Um, you, Yumi, Yuni. I can can never pronounce that name right. <laughs> um. Okay. So let's go find the infirmary. I just don't remember where the infirmary is. Maybe it's this way. I'm just kind of guessing, just because I don't know. Because I think we have to. Um, ah, here it is. Wow, it's really dark in here. Um, let's see. Okay. There's a spirit here. I see him too. I feel like we already did this, but bear with me. Be careful. Don't make eye contact. <coughs> Crap. He's looking right at me. We're reading this again. Even though we've kind of already read this in the last episode. That's right! I know your name! Show him the tongue? Yes. I feel bad for what happened to you. But I can't sympathize with what you're doing. I'm gonna... There we go. Hurting strangers because of your own despair? Pulling them into horrible places like this? And killing them! You killed our dear friend! I can never forgive you for that! 
But this is yours. It's part of your body. So I'm going to give it back to you. Damn it! Another earthquake? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I know we already went through this. Bear with me. I won't get anywhere with my wallowing in self pity here. Yuka, I swear I'll protect you. Please wait for me. First things first, though. I need to go check on Naomi. A girl in a red dress. Hey! Hey, you! Wait! Yeah, bear with me, guys, because I know we already did this. I think I just forgot to save. So, <laughs> bear with me. Someone's cell phone is lying on the ground. Get up. Psycho's cell phone. This is Sonora's, isn't it? Psycho seems to have been in the middle of texting someone when she dropped it, her phone. The text entry window is still open. While confronting the phone's owner, Satoshi wound up in virtually reading the whole th thing. Sonora. I'm so sorry. I really didn't mean to. I don't think Naomi should see this. Not now. At this rate. Okay, there's that little ball thing. Basically, we know what to do now, so it'll go be a little bit more faster because we did this in the last episode. <laughs> With the light jumping back and forth like that, I'll never be able to get the object by myself. Someone else will have to lend me a hand. Alright, back to the infirmary. I'm pretty sure we did all this. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's believe it's this way. I'm hoping. I don't remember. Oh, here we go. Naomi. Tatsushi. Please don't leave me alone in there. I like that. Sorry, I was out looking for Yuka. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Did you find her? No. The corridor that leads to where I saw her last went back to being a wall. I can't find any way of getting to, to the other building anymore. Other building? There's a whole other building? Yeah. Looks like the school, Yuka. Okay, 
We need to find some way to traveling from one space to another. That would be ideal, yeah. Wait a minute. Why are you standing out here instead of waiting inside the infirmary? I was attacked in there earlier by some kind of black shadowy, shadowy mist. So I was a little scared to be in there, afraid it might attack me again. You serious? I'm really sorry about that then. Don't worry about it. But there's something in there. For sure. I think we need to keep our distance. No objections here. Okay. Okay, let's go to that one room because I'm pretty sure... Oh, wrong way. <laughs> pretty sure we have to go to that one room. So let's go to that room. See, this is going faster because I know what I'm doing. Because we've did this before. <laughs> Okay, it's on the other side. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we'll have to go back over here. Really? Okay. Oh, it was too far. Okay. It is going quicker though. Okay. The lights change positions Naomi. again, Naomi. Would you mind waiting here for a sec? Yeah. Sure, no problem. Okay. See, this is going quicker. So hopefully we can go from where we were. Naomi, now! Grab it! Okay. Okay, got it! Nicely done in there. In fact, you seem totally unfazed. Did you figure out what we needed to do on your own? Or something? Actually, I had to do something similar before with Psycho. Did you? Same here, with, but with Yuka. Let's keep moving. We'll find her. I know we will. Yeah. We've already heard that. Okay. That is a television, isn't it? I did find the video Kessa in the other building. Psych uh, Satoshi removes the tape from his bag and rereads the label. So now we're back to where we're supposed to be. It might hold some important information. If only we had some way of watching it. Fingers crossed, I guess. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Shit. Who turned off the out the lights? Mommy. What the what's going on? Why is it so cold? <sighs> Something really smells. And it's 
pitch black in here. Can you find a light switch anywhere? I'll try. Found it! <laughs> Thanks. Man, it does stink in here. And it's not just mold, is it? Probably not. Uh, that's odd. What is? Oh, nothing. It's like deja vu. I could have sworn I've seen this room before. Okay. It's... Every day, up through November 18th, 1975, is crossed off with a big X. It's an old, beat-up kettle. Inside the cabinet, there's a notebook labeled Night Guard Log Logbook and a few crumpled pieces of paper. The sheets of paper contain what appears to be a seemingly endless list of me names. The lettering is worn, however, making it impossible to confirm exactly what's written. It's an old Japanese style fu fuma, fu 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 fuma sliding door promotedly opening to a closet. It's torn and stained and equally measured throughout its surface. Something seems off about this closet. I get the feeling this is one of the door we shouldn't open. There's a video 8. A uh, camcorder lying on the top of the TV. It's a casket. Desk is empty. Its battery al batteries also seem to have run out. However, as the LCD display isn't turning on. What is something this recent doing in a place like place this old? Maybe it belongs to someone who was brought here, like us. Yeah, that does make sense. Unfortunately, there's no cord here to hook it up to the TV, and it's out of batteries, so it doesn't look like we can be able to get much use out of it. There's a magazine article here from a publication called Strange But True, Stories of the Outlet. It's a follow-up to a previous report. Read it. Strange but true. Stories of an outlet chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building. Follow-up. Let's talk a bit more about your yeah, beloved son of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal. The man was born in, was a born instructor, pure and simple. He took up the mental as soon as he could and performed his duties with peerless ma managed. But then the illness struck and little by little his winning per personality gave away to pure instinct. He was slowly losing all sense of identity. Although the cause of this illness was unknown, its effects were anything but. It's simple, simply, but, or simply put. The good teacher had begun re reverting to a childlike state. He began carrying a unique uh, antique doll with him at all times, a memento from a long-forgotten festival, perhaps, given to him by his late mother. His behavior during class discarded quickly. More often than not, his lectures would cease before the period's end and he began wailing mournfully. Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and the murder incident, 
He reached a point where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. Although he could still understand others, he began virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. Given all the evidence mounted against him, he was arrested on multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and disgration of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in these crimes, nor even properly discuss them with other authorities. Everything hinged on the testimony of the sole survivor. In search of the truth behind the less significant Significant affliction, this incident spurred, I, of course, chose to follow the trail of this mysterious little girl. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying this story may remember Seiko the best as the girl with the strictly unusual red dress. It's hard not to feel sympathy for someone so young, forced to watch other children her age being tortured and killed one by one. And certainly, if I were to find Miss um, Sunuki and secure an interview, there would be some real mortal concern about digging up such painful memories. But then again, she's been a full-grown and hopefully well-adjusted adult over 10 years at this point. By now, she should be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objectively and give a more thorough account of what happened that day. Oh, that's a lot of reading. Oh, we're back. I'm impressed. You're far stronger than I thought. Totally fearless, fearless in fact. I was scared out of my mind. My brain is still struggling to make sense about this, all this. Uh, okay, but look, the ghost is gone, I guess. We really managed to appease it. Are, are you alright? You, you should probably dry your tears and blow your nose at least. Uh, what the hell? Not on my shirt. Did I tell you before that you shouldn't stay, say things like that? What are you, two? Uh, that's really gross. Not good. She's not normally like this. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna save. Okay. Let's continue. This is open. Oh, wait, this might be a different person. I don't know. I don't know. So I know we're supposed to go the can. Aha. Okay, and then this. side go six paces straight then enter okay one two three four five 
six. It's like this thing again, and I'm just like. Literally, I don't know because it said go up the stairs and do six paces. Right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to see what is up with this because obviously I'm missing something and it's. Okay, so I'm supposed to go to the cafeteria first. I'm one step ahead and <laughs> my bad. Sorry. Um, and I wrote it that down too, but I just, I, yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> go to where the floor collapsed, but then go back got better. One step booster, ten spaces rat. One step booster, ten paces rat. I might have to do it with the video again. Okay, so go up. One, two, three, four. Wait. Ten paper. So, hold on. So, basically, I'm looking at the video. So, yeah, you go upstairs. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. So, the floor here had clearly collapsed previously. The gap seems to have miraculous, mysteriously closed up 
on its own, it feels completely solid. Okay. Just give me a sec. Where are we supposed to end? Right there. Okay, so we're supposed to end like right here, I think. Okay, so. One. Or is it here? One of the floorboards here is slightly raised, peering through the cracks. You can just barely make out something shiny in the dark res res re recess below. Try to pull it out. Okay. From beneath the floorboards, you manage to fish out a crank like key that resembles a winder from the old fashioned pocket watch. The heck is this? It doesn't look like it would fit any door I know. Okay, so. Da, 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 da. Okay, so. I think it's over here. You can tell I've kind of written this down just because then I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. The window you found looks like it fits perfectly in the keyhole at the base of the lever. Use it. It did it did in, indeed slip into the vise without any trouble, but nothing happened. Oh, come on. Okay, the lever is still stuck, but it seems to have a bit more than it did before. There's a space for it to go down. One more notch. Try forcing it. Yes. Okay, so that opened. Oh, don't need that. Okay, so that opened. And then I do believe. Do, do, do. Should we go back, I think? Okay. Oh, wow. Get a load of this place. It's got showers. Are you alright? Did you feel something again? Uh-uh. Another nosebleed. If it's just her nose, it's fine. But if it's a blood vessel burst in her brain or something... Here. Stuff some tissue up your nose to stop the bleeding. Thanks. I'll have some of my own, but since you got yours out already... Yeah, go ahead. 
Did the ghost get to her? No. She's been a little off since before that. I think she's probably reached her limit. She needs to rest. seeing if there's anything first. Your own reflection stares back at you. Strangely, you. strangely, you have more wrinkles than you remember. Well, that's not something I want to know. No running by the pool. That should be like something that. Uh, <laughs> a pool, huh? Can't seem. To, can't see the other side of it with all the rain. <laughs> Alright, here goes. This is clearly isn't working. Why don't I take the doll from. for. For a bit. You'll catch your death of a cold out here. Go back inside. I can handle the search. You just wait for me in the locker room. And what's gonna happen if a ghost shows up again? Hmm? You think you'll be able to handle it? Don't worry about me. If anything happens, I'll call you. And you can come to my rescue. Alright, just don't do anything stupid. Thank you. You say something? I've got to try to lighten her load as much as possible. I don't think she can handle much more of this. Kind of seeing what we what our options here are. Oh, wait. Oh, there's like a thing over here on the other side. Let's go and see what it says. Oh no. Okay. Never mind then. Not much to report yet, unfortunately. Don't worry though, it's not like I'm too scared to keep looking. If the spirit latches onto you, when you're defenseless are, are down, it, it will be for the rest of your life. So please be careful, okay? I, I will. I don't know if we're supposed to go back out here, but I'm gonna see what's on the other side. There's a sign on the door that says pump room. Door's locked. Okay. Oh, okay, so... We can't get to that other other side. Oh, hello. It looks like there's a key launched into the crack between two tiles. Try to dig it out. Oh. 
水圧調整室パンプルームはあ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、Wait, what? What was that? No, there's no way. Come on, give me a break here. Come on. Pump room. Come on. Yes. Why do I have. What's, what's happening? Hold on. What's that? What's happening? I really don't remember this. Am I supposed to like. Am I trapped? <laughs> what's, ha what's happening? Damn it. She's not here. I guess that really was her then. What the hell is she thinking? There's no time to waste. Oh, wait. Wait. This, is, this caught me off guard. What is wrong with me? What am I doing? I should be, never be taking my eyes off of her. It's all my fault. Damn it. I am so confused. Hold on. Gosh, where is she? 
We're on a timer here. Where is she? I can't tell where that is. here um i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'll figure it out another time um remember to leave a like comment down below and subscribe